This one, yeah, you know, you see. Like this, that's game. what I want to see. B game, Ali. My son, the fight of the night. I just want really all of him, man. Um, in April this year, a young talent by the name of Ali Tazim was in a tragic car accident. And we pay tribute in traditional boxing style with the 10 bells. Now, I want to do a different introduction this time, innit? So I'm actually an influencer now, or YouTuber. Jake Paul, I'm coming for you. Okay then, that's why you should say it. EP8, uh, Aesthetic Weekly, the love, the support, the manners, the respect for everyone showing me. Don't go unnoticed, I love it. Channels growing, the content's coming, multimedia. Uh, the man behind the... Well, the man who's put everything together, to be fair, he's told me, you've got nothing to do with YouTube, I'm coming in filming ya, and it is what it is. So I'm just being me, me just filming me, you guys are enjoying it. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, how about that? Uh, but yeah, another day at the HQ, it's Monday today, Monday's the day usually I get my hair cut, but today I have been absolutely off my feet, uh, and I ain't had a chance to get hair cut, so plan to change this week, uh, hair cut tomorrow. Uh, but yeah man, there's some massive, massive, massive news uh, to come uh, in this weekly. So uh, yeah man, stay tuned. You know, like, uh, subscribe, etc. But also comment at the bottom as well. So uh, yeah, I'm here. Young, free and single. Come and take me. So uh, I used to be the Deputy Police and Crime Commissioner for the West Midlands. But now I do uh, kind of consultancy work now in the public sector. So I go around and help organisations in uh, anything they need help with. So it could be strategy, it could be community engagement, uh, it could be anything really. So as long as they pay me, I'll do anything. <laughs> what is it? What am I up to? Um, I'm just filming some content for the gym. We've got two videos. But I do a full gym video just for the Insta. And then uh, um, a member appreciation, that's it. But I don't know who the member is. 15, yeah, let's go. Uh, clients all day, Alhamdulillah, so just been busy with that, you know, when you've got clients one after the other, the day goes very, very quick. Before you know it, the week's gonna be over. Uh, other than that, it's good, bro. To be honest with you, word of mouth with me, I don't have social media. Uh, I'm not really on social media like that. I felt like I was getting sucked into that social media lifestyle, you get me? And um, uh, I got aware of that and I thought, you know what, I, I need to stop, man. But as soon as I jumped on, it's almost like I um, anxiety kicked in. Do you know what I mean? Being off it for so long, not giving a shit uh, what anybody thinks or what anybody's doing. Do you know what I mean? It's more about me and what I want to do. As soon as I jump back on, even being aware of the situation, I just started feeling a bit anxious, but I thought, you know what, nah, this ain't for me. You know, Sully. Oh, <laughs> Sully is uh, an Hello. aesthetic legend. Uh, if you want to talk about spiritual journeys and spiritual remedies, uh, is the man. He's just come back from a retreat. Is it a retreat? Can you call it a retreat? Um, yeah, plant medicine retreat. Um, plant medicine retreat. Plant medicine retreat in Peru. In Peru. One, well, I'll be, one second, let me just start. The, the vlog is only 59 minutes, so don't take the whole 59 minutes. All right, just break it. Sorry. In. <laughs> okay. Yo, yo, bring on part two. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm itching to hear this one. Tell us, just in a nutshell. In a nutshell, uh, plant medicine retreat. Um, I see a lot of great and amazing stuff with these two eyes, but then with this eye, uh, I took a brew, an ayahuasca brew, that took me inside and made me come, I came face to face with uh, a lot of childhood traumas and my sole purpose, and it was a very uh, profound, exciting, and sometimes uh, horrific uh, trip, but it was all to, um, make me a much better person 
one. Third one. Yeah. The pineal gland. Uh, the pineal gland is. Uh, Do you know about this media? Everyone has uh, the pineal gland, which is meant to be the uh, bridge to uh, the spiritual world where we all come from. Uh, don't know whether you you believe that or that or not, but uh, I do. Um, and we need to activate the pineal gland uh, by keeping it uh, decalcified um, and feeding it with, uh, you know, con conscious movement. So whether that be exercise, food, um, you know, loads of loads of good stuff. Um, kick. <laughs> You've got me on the spot here, so no, I can be speaking like that. It's just speak like the way you speak to me what are you speaking like hey yay hey. you know what i mean like <laughs> no oh, well, do, you, do you know what that is that's speaking to the americans because they don't understand me they don't okay. Amer <laughs> americans don't understand the brummy accent so i i, I, I kind of got into a habit of you know making myself a lot more clearer i always say like i says i've realized in all my vlogs i need to change that but uh, yeah, uh, training's continuing for clients. Obviously, exciting time for Luke, who's going to be competing in, in how many weeks? We've got Luke. Twelve. In twelve weeks. Uh, but like I said, the show must still got one. Like I says again. So yeah, end of a Monday evening. Fuck, it's been this late, man. What time is it? Because we have half nine. Uh, half nine. Another long day done. Very constructive. Everything's pretty done, done. Like I says, Mondays just for me ticking boxes. All boxes have been ticked. Go home. Last meal, little walk, spend some time with the loved ones. See you all tomorrow. We'll eat aesthetic all of that. Tuesday evening, aesthetic weekly. Another busy day, man. Another day, uh, another dollar down. But uh, nevertheless, we will grind. That's how it is, isn't it? You know how it is weekly. Let's move it on. So today I've got a few check ins. Uh, online client, Naza. We travel all the way from Bradford. We just travel down once every four weeks in order to do a face to face check in. Uh, he's competing as an athlete, so we've got to check in. We're putting through a little bit of session. We're going to see exactly what he's doing. We're going to alter his diet, his training program, whatever needs to uh, alter it. we we'll work, work on his posing side of it. Heels in, dig them toes in, see your legs automatically. Now squeeze them fuckers in. Don't lock them knees. Knees slightly bent. Take it up. Keep it there, squeeze it in. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Where's the legs? Keep them legs in. Start again. Do it again, do it again. Take a step forward. Yeah. That's it. Now do it again. Exactly same From again. From the bottom, hold it up, yeah? Perfect. Sorry, Chiefs. Yeah, we're going to go both feet together. That's the face that way. You copy me, yeah? Both feet together. I want you to put the weight onto your back foot. Yeah, and then just keep this one tight. So what you'll do, push two legs against them. Yeah. This is going to bring out your hamstring there. Yeah, bring that foot slightly further forward, further forward. Perfect. And then what you're going to do is with your upper body, one hand on top of the other, lift the chest and bring the elbow round into the waist. Perfect. Keep that tight. And oh, squeeze that fucker in there. That's Breathe it. out. Put that down there. Bang. Squeeze it. That's it. That's when you try to tighten that. Midsection tight. Midsection tightening. More. Squeeze that in. Now slide over this way. Yeah. Move your body over now. Do not this way. This way, that way. That's it. You feel there too? Yeah. Put your feet. Look, that hamstring needs to be stuck to that leg. That needs to be touching. Yeah. Bring that all the way down. Nah, this one needs to get reconstructed. So turn your hands towards us more. Yeah. Roll your elbows forward and lean back. So lean back towards us more. That's it. Drop your shoulders slightly. All you need to do is stay there. So when you drop. Elbows down and roll them forward there, yeah? That's it. Down and then roll them back. Yeah, now put one foot back to start with. Just one, that's yeah. it. And turn your knees out. That's it, yeah. That's it, that's it. And now sit in it a bit more. A bit more, spend that a bit more. That's right, yeah. Remember, tension your biceps, turn them to me, flex them biceps, that's it there. Hold it there. Now that's a shit pose, isn't it? Put your feet, feet slightly closer together, turn your toes out. That's it, yeah, heels in closer. That's it, that's it. Now turn your knees out, slightly bend your knees, that's it there. That's it there. Hands on your hips. What you do is keep your hands on your hips exactly where they are, just roll your elbows forward. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Now lift your chest up and lean back. Good, hold yeah, that there. That's a good shot. 
Bend your knees. That's it. Look up. Perfect. Turn around. In like that. Yeah. Can I have a stop and pause and catch some more, more traps, more traps? That's Squeeze it out, bro. Just tense them stomach out. Legs are gone again. That's you need to keep them tense, bro. But now is when the condition creeps in. We've just about got the base layer. Does it make sense? Condition needs to start creeping in now. So yeah, man. As you can see, there's a lot of what we usually do on the check-ins. Um, you can see there's a lot of work that goes behind the scenes. Um, and there's no rest. Heads up, it's bloody ticking, in it? And you can see this is my fourth one. I've got fifth and sixth one now. Um, so yeah, that's how it works. Trainers gone missing, great stuff. Yeah. Find them. I actually thought someone robbed them. Crep check. <laughs> well, these were my first pair of Yeezys. Uh, I wasn't a Yeezy fan. I wore them once or twice. But yeah, man. I don't know, like two years. Drink of them. Box, box, box! Like I always says, if you're gonna wear gloves, you need to them gloves. We get a lot of hate from the gym guys now. But yeah, if you're gonna wear these to the gym, <laughs> wear a matching handbag. Here you go, bring a handbag next time. <laughs> oh, listen, come on, man. I've been here for a long time, you know. I've been here for the longest, like... I got, uh, to be honest with you, what it is, is for me, if if I see Wahid ever in trouble, like in trouble or, you know, needs a help, I'll just jump behind the till and just help out. You know, we're one big family here. I don't even ask for any money or anything. Don't charge him. I should, though. I should, I should charge him, really, but, you know... Obviously, he pays me back in other ways. I'm 21 today, bro. Mashallah. I'll tell you something exciting. Uh, my birthday today, bro. <laughs> I thought I'd have a little bit of time off, you know what I mean? A little bit of time away from the camera. Let a few new characters come in ball and stuff like that. But obviously, yeah. Um, and I'm back, so obviously I want to see 10k views on this video. I want everyone to support, everyone to show that love. If you're not, make sure you tell your friends, your family, your mom, your nan, your sister, your dog, your cat. Get involved, subscribe to the channel and get showing the support. Uh, standard chicken and rice. Yeah, it's my, my diet's as exciting as my life right about now. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, nevertheless, I am grateful and uh, I still spice it up. It's time for his birthday, so we're gonna go grab him a cake. But I don't think we can record in Sainsbury, so I'll uh, be back with you in a second. But it was chocolate cake and candles, and then I got our money back. Big blow, big blow. You want a bit shadow? You want a bit shadow? Yeah! yeah. Big happy birthday, Cam, aka the fish. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Happy birthday! 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 Happy <laughs> Hold tight Cam, like I said, always love, manners, respect. Uh, you know, the stuff is done for everyone here has been absolutely phenomenal. Uh, we appreciate it from the bottom of our heart. We respect all of that. Uh, today, what day is it? It's been a very slow week to be fair. It's like, you know, because it's, uh, I don't know, middle of the year, the weather being up and down. I feel like there's something in the air. And yeah, man, like the energies are not the best. But nonetheless, we shall move. So yeah, that's it. Really, nothing else. Uh, I don't have that whole bouncy, that bounce in my step at the moment. You know when they say someone's took the jam at Madonna. I think someone's actually took the jam at Madonna. Have I ever thought about writing a quotes book? Uh, I don't know. You know, it's been mentioned to me before. Like Scott always says, I'm the man with the quotes. But yeah, for every occasion, <laughs> I'm not going to say another quote. But what we have in now, pre-workout, monster, energy, hopefully this caffeine would uh, uh, give me that little boost in it. 
Oh, but I had a delivery yesterday. A delivery of a speaker, which was mentioned in the previous vlog. Yeah. Uh, the bloody hell, anyone can sell me anything, any. I didn't listen to it by motive and then got one ordered. Uh, I've got it fitted. And I'll probably give it a little uh, a blast later on. But it's got to be before 8 o'clock because simply my neighbourhood's a very quiet neighbourhood. And the last thing I want is having an asbo. Just sorting out some uh, stuff for one of my fighters. We've got a fight this Saturday, so just get checking the weight and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm everywhere man, I'm national, everywhere. I've got fighters in Reading, I've got fighters here in Birmingham, I've got boys in London, some I work with in Slough, everywhere man. So yeah, hard work, dedication. Yeah, let's go buddy. Hey, okay, tense your legs a little bit for me though, please, yeah? Tense your legs, bro, come on. Tense now? Nah, can't see a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Quads are looking big though, man. Your yeah. legs look bigger, man. Oh, your legs okay. are quite deceiving. Yeah, no, take I feel like when you see them in the picture, they're bigger than actually in the picture. If that makes you know what I'm saying, yeah, like when you see you in the picture, to see you now, you look bigger. Back it up, take your top off, like. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, I've done shoot. my checking this morning, innit? No, no, but this is for the police, yeah, innit? Yeah. This is for media, bro. On the media, bro. Media, bro. Oh, this yeah, is what happens here. Yeah. When you're a good coach like I am, obviously sometimes <laughs> you get clients that don't really so want to do this is what, happens. Yes. what I get you to tell them it. to do. So now yeah. I'm asking him politely, yeah. take your top off. Yeah, he doesn't want to take your top off. So you need to see everything. I don't think he's ready. He can't. He's not stepping is, on stage. Is that a good way to speak to a client? If I say that to a female client, would that be acceptable? But you're not a female though. He's trying to sell you. He's trying to sell you. Ultimate waffle. 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 Ultimate What's going on, bro? No, man. Don't shut up. Oh, no, so this is for you getting, <laughs> getting his own back at me. Do you know what I mean? This is what tends to happen. Um, but yeah, man. Hold tight, Coventry City. <laughs> Media, what's going on? Athletic Weekly, Friday. Uh, Friday, another day, another setting. Today we are going to Rotherham, Sheffield. Sheffield. Sheffield, going to support a brother uh, who's Izzy. very easy. Tell us about Izzy, T. Izzy's uh, one of the first Pakistani uh, uh, promoters cut in over there, yeah, British boxing board. Looking big things at the WWE's man. And uh, I'm looking forward to the big show he's putting on. It's his second one as well, by the way. Yes, yeah, his second show. So, like I says, always love, manners, respect, show the support. Uh, and hopefully, it'll be a cracker. See you there. You know me, man. I'm, all, I'm, I'm everywhere in here, they're everywhere. Gotta be done, innit? Easy ass if good friend of ours, alhamdulillah. Let's see what he's put on, and it looks like a good one here. And uh, let's see. So, yep, yeah, we have arrived. Uh, funny enough, we arrived on time today. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm looking forward to a good evening of boxing. We're here with the family and coming to show some support to Izzy. Don't, I know how I just blag on about the South Asian community, etc. It's done a great thing here for boxing, but coming from a South Asian background and what he's done here, absolutely amazing. Yeah, man. Hold tight, Izzy. First Pakistani. 
Heavyweight. Heavyweight. Obviously, you know, you must be following his journey. It's been great. Then he had a little nibble. Mind the point. <laughs> What's the plan for the future? Talk to us. We got a big fight, one of the top 15, 20 guys. Any of them, man. I mean, you know, training hard, whatever. One yeah, by one, yeah, they yeah. all get it. One like by one, they all get it. Like I says, I'm there, like he's always shown sort of love, manners, respect. Yeah, and inshallah, like I says, we'll support him all the way through. Anyway, yeah. uh, and inshallah, like I says, he'll go a very long way. Inshallah. Inshallah. These uh, brothers have always supported me for a very, very long time. They've got a gym in Pakistan, and I'm fortunate enough to have my pictures of in Pakistan and the whole nation. And like I said, they've supported me right from the get-go. And like you just mentioned, I was always there for the support. So yeah, man, always love man and respect all of that. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to you all. Good, uh, good evening. We're right here at the Marina Center in Rotherham. What a beautiful venue. A phenomenal venue. And as tonight, we're going to be entertained with world-class boxing, professional boxing. Brought to you by promoter and CEO, Izzy Nasser. Warm thank you to Izzy. Izzy, how you doing? We're going to put the Midlands on the map. The first question, are you ready? I'm going to try that one more time. Ladies and gentlemen, right here at Rackham Center, are you ready? We're going to keep that energy high, we're going to keep that energy keep all the way through the night. But first off, Please, let's welcome our Commander-in-Chief, our promoter, Izzy Azif! First of all, this is your show, not because I'm going to correct you. Absolutely. I mean, I couldn't agree with you more. And what does it mean to put Yorkshire and the people of Yorkshire on the map in a professional scene? Listen, I'm a proud, proud, proud Yorkshire. I'm Sheffield born and bred. My father was actually born up in Doncaster. So, listen, I've got a course, listen, I've got a course, I'm a... Young sir, to start their career on the map like this. I think first of all, uh, um, this young man here, 
right there. He's doing an amazing job in regards to putting on shows. It's not just about the show, it's about the package as well. So he's a people's person. And that's what's most important, that's what I love about it. He's giving opportunities to people that you won't see on the TV yet. But give it time, give it opportunity. And I'm telling you now, he's going to go well. He's going to go far. That's why he's got my back in. Because I love the fact that, that boxing in York, Yorkshire <laughs> is, uh, is most important. And uh, close to heart. And this guy is uh, <laughs> and this guy doing a great job. So I think we're a good job. That was the best. So fight of the night is two thousand pounds. Yeah, guys, I'm double up to a thousand for two. The one there, sponsored from Game of Thrones. Right up. That's how you that's how you sell a dog show. Phenomenal, Izzy. Phenomenal. Two thousand pounds for fight of the night. Is Izzy has the team here? We're going to put on a phenomenal night. We also, at the same time, want to recognize one of our very own who tragically lost his life. Um, in April this year, a young talent by the name of Ali Tazim was in a tragic car accident. And his father's here. Welcome. I want to make sure that we pay our respect. <laughs> Mrs. Tazim, we're going to pay respect. All of us here tonight will pay respect to your son. We know that he was a phenomenal talent, an up-and-coming talent. It's a tragic loss, but we want to make sure that you remember it fully and never forgot. Roll the Martial artist to uh, you know to live. Um, so we're really pleased to win this bid, and we are going to be auctioning this and other 
uh, home show uh, in October. And, uh, yeah, all money raised will be uh, donated to charity. Happy days. Humble brother. Sheffield. Sheffield. Love Sheffield. Love man. Love man. Love man. Love man. Love man. Love man. Definitely yes. a champion, man. 100%. Okay. Man. Yeah. Look after yourself, brother, man. Yeah, man, it's a wrap. Uh, it's been a pleasure. As always, it is late, it is midnight. Uh, great show, great event. Uh, love, manners, respect, all of that. We'll eat Svetic. Oi.